Welcome to the Blackboard Catalyst Exemplary Course Tour for ETT 510, Instructional Media and Technology. This course was designed and taught by Jason Rohde at Northern Illinois University during fall 2013. I'm Jason and it's my pleasure to give you a brief introduction to this online course that I designed and taught. This course happens to be a required first semester course for in-service teachers pursuing a master's degree in instructional technology with a K-12 tech specialist endorsement offered through the Department of Educational Technology Research and Assessment at NIU. While students in this course attended a face-to-face -face orientation at the beginning of this course, the remainder of the course was fully online. Beginning with the course navigation menu, I designed the course navigation to be intuitive and ordered in a logical and sequential manner. Notable areas of the course demonstrating exemplary course design elements include the course entry point, which was a content area called Welcome, Start Here. Here an item provided students with easy access to course description, objectives, orientation, getting started tips, online synchronous meeting dates and times, as well as my contact information. Photos of each student were taken at our initial face-to-face -face orientation and made available as a cohort photo directory that students could view within the Your Classmates area of the course. I organized the course into units with objectives for each unit included in the description of each unit folder as well as within the folder itself. Each unit contained an introduction and welcome to the unit from me, overview, objectives, readings and resources, activities and assignments, and tips for success. In short, everything students needed for the unit could be accessed within the unit folder. Units were listed in reverse chronological order so that the current unit was available at the top of the page, reducing the need for excessive scrolling. The readings and other instructional content items were organized by unit and made available for the entire course duration in the readings and resources area of the course. Review status was enabled so students could mark readings reviewed once completed. I used communication tools, including announcements, to provide course updates, reminders, and special announcements. During each graded unit discussion forum, students chose from among several discussion questions to post an initial response. Forums were post first so that students were not able to see the posts of their classmates until after they posted their initial response, promoting original thinking. Students met with me online for live online class meetings throughout the course. At the conclusion of each unit, students reflected on their learning journey during the unit and posted a reflection to their online journal in Blackboard. This journal was where students documented in their reflections any aha moments that they had, as well as poignant comments from the discussion, readings and resources, or any other takeaways. Since only I as the instructor could see students' journal posts, I was able to provide comments to their posts, and the journal activities served as great check-in points for me with the students throughout the course. The Your Instructor menu item included my contact information, including phone, text, email, and Twitter. I also included details regarding expected response time for email replies, and I explained my role as instructor facilitating the course. Each assigned activity in the course was graded using an interactive Blackboard rubric with feedback provided. To promote an increased sense of instructor presence in the course, I recorded and posted unit introduction videos each week that introduced key concepts and activities for the upcoming unit as well as wrapped up the previous unit discussions and activities. These videos recorded on YouTube were embedded as the first items within the unit's content folders as well as within announcements. These announcements were automatically emailed to students when I posted them in Blackboard. Videos were also made available via a YouTube playlist that students could easily access via their mobile device outside of Blackboard. In the graded asynchronous discussions and reflection journals, students were given the option of participating using the Video Everywhere feature in Blackboard instead of the traditional text format. Numerous students did opt for participating in video and shared very positive feedback concerning the experience. To introduce students to emerging instructional media tools, as well as provide them an opportunity to produce simple materials following principles of good visual design and production, 
media exploration activities were assigned throughout the course where students explored a variety of web-based media tools that have direct instructional media application. For each media tool explored, students created a sample instructional media item following principles of good visual design and production. Using the tool, as well as sharing a summary of their experience exploring the tool, such as what features they tried and what they liked best about the tool, what surprised them, etc. For each activity, I set up an assignment blog where students posted their sample media item created and a summary of their experience. Like the rest of the assignments in the course, media exploration blog posts were graded using a rubric and feedback provided to students. Well, that concludes this brief tour of ETT 510 Instructional Media and Technology. To learn more about this course, visit jasonrody.com forward slash ETT 510 Exemplary Course. If you have questions about the course, you can feel free to leave a comment there and I'll be happy to respond as soon as I can. Also, you can feel free to reach out to me via Twitter, email, or on my blog at the addresses provided. For more information about Blackboard's exemplary course program, visit blackboard.com forward slash ECP.